I'm attending college classes. I'm posting consistently on LinkedIn and YouTube. I'm doing two internships, learning UI UX on the side, and also doing a research project all in the same time. This is because I save over 20 hours every week that other people usually waste or squander. In this video, I'm going to share with you all the hacks that I use so that I can manage my time much, much better than the average person. You can always make more money, but you can never make more time. Which is why in this video, I'm going to share how I save almost 20 hours or more every week. So up here is going to be a counter which shows exactly how many hours I've saved given each hack. So let's get started. The first hack is dealing with social media. Now for this, I use multiple you know, strategies. So number one is I don't have a single notification on. From uh, I have LinkedIn, Discord and Reddit on my phone, but I don't have notifications on for any. And I have a screen timer for each of these apps, even YouTube and YouTube Studio. Though I post on YouTube consistently, I have a timer for YouTube and I don't have a single notification on. Another method that I use is uh, I don't check Instagram too often. I don't have the app. I only use it on my desktop as a browser app application because I don't post on Instagram. I don't even you know put up stories. I only text people and I look at stories. So I check it maybe once or twice every 24 hours and that saves a huge amount of time. I don't scroll reels at all. So it saves, saves up a lot of time. Then another thing with social media is uh, I have like the grayscale mode or whatever, which turns on at night. And that helps me save a lot. Now a hack for YouTube is uh, I have my watch history and search history turned off, which means I don't have any recommendations on my homepage. If I want to watch something on YouTube, I have to manually search it or I have to go to the subscriptions tab and see if someone I follow has uploaded something new. So this helps me save uh, easily at least one or two hours every single day, uh, maybe more because people spend one or two hours on Reels itself. Imagine scrolling Reddit and like LinkedIn and other such places. So let's assume on average two hours per day, which is into seven, this much time every week. The second hack is using a checklist. Timetables are overrated because 90% of or more people don't stick to their ideal timetable. So instead I use a checklist. So every night I prepare like a small list of things that I have to do the next day. This can either be on a sticky note or on a small piece of paper. And this helps me, uh, you know, sort of have a clear priority and set of goals for the next day. Because what used to happen was every day I used to get up and then think for at least half an hour to 45 minutes of what I have to do today. What are the classes I have, what meetings or what stuff I have to do by the end of the day and stuff. So if you assume say 45 minutes every day spent on just planning instead of executing, uh, that wastes a lot of time. Plus this is in the morning when your like uh, cognitive ability and stuff is at the highest, like at least for me. So uh, 45 minutes every day into seven days is totally this much time. So I'm saving currently this much time every week. The third hack is delegation. This video that you're watching was not edited by me. It's edited by a guy called Rajmani. Shout out. Uh, so I don't edit my own videos. I don't do my own laundry. I don't do a lot of other stuff that I delegate to other people. Uh, notes. Making notes is someone uh, like I've bought notes. I've seen other people's notes for exam and stuff. So suppose I edit my videos like every week. Every Sunday a video goes out. Imagine that I take say three hours or four hours to edit a video. Uh, four hours per week plus doing laundry, which is say, I don't know, half an hour or one hour every week, plus uh, say going and making notes and then comparing notes and stuff. So all in all, it saves me around like five or six hours every week. So the total amount of time saved is. The fourth hack, which is probably a bit random and you won't, uh, you might think of me as a madman after this, but walk 25% faster, okay? Especially in a place like Bitsua, where like the campus is 200 acres, almost big, like 200 acres is the area. And there are no cycles, you have to walk to every single place, be it the library or classes or to eat or to meet someone or whatever. So you have to keep walking, like there's no cycle, there's nothing else. So if you walk 25% faster, okay, just 25% faster or 15% faster, that saves you at least one or half a minute in every single, uh, you know, walk that you do. And suppose you take like 20 of these walks a day for A to class, coming back from class, going to eat, coming back to eat, uh, to the hostel going for whatever coming back so assuming 20 times you walk around and then you save one or two minutes every walk you save around 40 minutes a day and that 40 minutes a day you can use for so many other things okay so assuming 30 minutes at least per day into seven days i save totally this much time the last hack is again something that you might consider me a madman after listening to is selective ignorance so tim ferris talks about the low information diet or no information diet so i don't watch news I don't uh, follow up on a lot of social media trends and all because I don't have Instagram, like I use it very rarely. So I am very ignorant to a lot of things that are happening out in the world, which is bad, I know. 
like i didn't know about the israel palestine war until like recently okay like so ha huh. and then i didn't know about the paytm thing until recently and so many other things so agreed it's good to like be in the loop and have this knowledge and stuff but everyone else already knows this knowledge so if suppose i'm talking to one of my friends and he tells me something about paytm i'm like okay tell me all about it and he's happy talking about it to me i am happy knowing about it without reading 20 newspapers or anything so having an ignorant mindset towards most of the things that the media and news portrays is actually good because it saves time it saves your attention and you can focus on the things that truly matter because sometimes like i used to watch a lot of sports and then the world cup happened so i stopped watching sports because like uh, my mental health and anxiety and all is controlled by 11 men on a field or some other guy in the bcci or whoever if you whatever if you know you know but so if you sort of have an ignorant mindset towards all these major events it helps you save time and attention so that's it for now i hope this video made sense i hope it will help you save time and be more productive and efficient if you like uh, productivity videos and stuff do let me know in the comments because i use a lot of these small small hacks that help me do much much more than the average person that's it for now I'll see you in another video